Lady McGrath, please. Thank you. Um, Count Cole, I want to say, I, uh, thank you for giving me permission today and leave to introduce my private member's bill called the Land and Conveyancing Law Reform Act, Amendment Act Bill 2015. And this is an effort by me to address the situation regarding home repossessions and the trauma and uh, you know, the, the sheer intimidation and bullying that's going on with families, homeowners, and people in, in, sometimes people that buy to rent also. It's going on now for about six or seven years since the onset of the um, financial crash. The people of this country have paid a huge price and have, pay, have, have suffered greatly in the actions that were taken, and indeed by myself when we voted to save the banks on that fatal night in September uh, um, long ago. And the people have suffered and put their shoulders to the wheel and made pay and suffer. And I think now it's time that this House here and the Department of Finance and the ECB failed to do it, put some restrictions on uh, banks and financial institutions to understand you know, what it is and the trauma that are visiting on people uh, in their homes, families to uh, pressure, financial pressure causing, leading to stress, leading to ill health, leading to uh, marital um, distress and separations, all kinds of, of a litany of effects that it can have on people who, in good faith, borrowed to put a roof over their heads, went out, took the risk, got planning in many cases or bought houses, paid their planning fees, played their builders, paid all the legal solicitors and, and accountants and indeed planning consultants and owned their own home and were doing fine uh, paying for them as they intended to repay their mortgage when it was signed up for until the financial uh, crisis hit and many of them were made unemployed to no fault of their own or some private people who were in business lost the total business couldn't get any social welfare supports or, else, or, or otherwise supports and they faced an awful trauma. Uh, the banks uh, then were, for a while were uh, perplexed and were slow enough but uh, repossession started to happen very, very quickly. Then we saw where uh, Mrs. Justice Dunn and I, Elizabeth Dunn and I salute her in 2012, uh, found a loophole as, as is her duty as the judges are to find in, in, in this situation and um, stopped the banks and financial institutions on their tracks completely with one uh, judgment and very good because the courts are meant to be uh, fair and free and uh, to protect the citizens under the law as well as uh, everybody else. Uh, but the government, uh, for whatever reason, I don't know, introduced, and you all voted for it here, and it described it as the, the, the Land and Conveniencing Act in 2013. And it was, uh, it, it, in spite of the nice uh, words it was couched in, it was dressed up as um, support for families and Land and Conveniencing Act 2013. A docile enough name, but behind the name and beneath the name, it was really a, a shorter word would have described that bill. I used the word in this house to describe that bill. It was called, in my words, and everybody else that's, that's facing, facing the hammer and facing repossession and eviction, the eviction bill would have been a more appropriate name to call that. Where it again uh, said it sought to uh, uh, plug a loophole, it put us back to where we were before the ju Justice Dunn uh, judgment in 2012, uh, um, where the banks could circumvent that loophole and got on their merry way again and started threatening, pressurising, intimi intimidating uh, householders. And it's going on at a pace. The courts in my county, in Clonmela and in Nina, are full uh, with 60 and 70 a week of repossession orders. The courts in every county in this country are full of repossession orders. And the trauma that's going on. And beneath that all is a murky business of receivers and of banks selling on uh, properties that are repossessed for a minimal figure only to make handsome profits for somebody else to make handsome profits weeks, if not days later, weeks and months later. And it's a murky, murky business. And I'm just calling and asking the government not to oppose this bill, to accept it and deal with it. At this 99th hour in their five-year tenure, after getting that mandate some five years ago, to give some sustenance to the homeowners, to the frightened people, and to give them some situation where they can have legal, uh, legal supports and they can fight a case legally, uh, because many of them can't afford it. And I salute the groups out there that are supporting families and the individuals lend league. And I thank um, uh, Barrister David Langer for uh, Langwaller for supporting me in putting this bill together Thank and you. it's very, very needed and I appeal to you Minister Howland as a member of the Labour Party founded in my own town of Clonmel back all those 100 years ago to be compassionate and You're take, I, I'm almost finished Count Gordon, 
Robert. and to please um, redress this situation and remove that Land and Conveyancing Act Thank and you. accept my private member's bill. Is Thank the bill you. being opposed? Not opposed. I declare the motion for leave to introduce agreed since this is a private member's bill. Second stage must understanding orders be taken in private member's time. I'd ask the deputy to move that the second stage be taken. I move the second stage. Is that be agreed? Taken. Agreed. agreed.